everyone and welcome to another episode of Radiant Central and I'm your host Natasha St. Michael and thank you so much for joining me. So a few years ago I did a video showing how to use fresh aloe vera gel as a face mask to heal and prevent acne and recently I've been using the fresh aloe vera gel as a full body mask and I've been getting phenomenal results with this. <laughs> My skin has become super soft and smooth and so I want to share this with everyone. And pretty much, as most people know, I gave birth to my daughter, Luna Ray, a few months ago. And I would say a few weeks after giving birth, the texture of my skin completely changed. And I was developing sort of rough patches of, of skin sort of all over my body and sort of rough or dry patches. And I had a hard time getting rid of it, like no matter how much dry skin brushing I would do or using different exfoliants, I couldn't sort of smooth out my skin. I couldn't balance out the, the texture of my skin. And so I started experimenting using the fresh aloe vera gel as like a full body mask from head to toe. <laughs> and it was amazing to see within a few days of doing this that my skin became like super soft. I'd say almost as soft as my daughter's skin. <laughs> and, um, and yeah, it's been working really great. So I want to show you how to do it. It's easy, easy, easy. And all you pretty much need is, is an aloe vera plant. One thing I do suggest is getting a large aloe vera plant. Try and find a plant that the leaves are at least sort of two inches or, or at least maybe four or five centimeters wide at the base. Because the bigger the aloe vera leaves are, the more gel you're gonna be able to extract from it. Whereas I'm gonna show you with my plant, it's pretty small you don't get so much out of it and so if you have a larger plant you'll just get more out of it and and you'll be able to keep the plant longer so um, yeah let me show you how to to take the gel out of the plant and also apply it on the skin and and also explain how often to use it and all that okay so let's get started so here's the aloe vera plant and I'm going to show you how to cut it you pretty much want to select a leaf that's at the base of the plant and you're just going to cut it close to the inside so you don't ever want to cut a leaf like up here you always want to go for the older leaves which are at the bottom okay and then you'd remove it you then want to just rinse off the aloe vera leaf and then i'm going to show you how to cut it or to fill it it so we can remove the gel from the leaf so here we have the aloe vera leaf, and what we're going to do is we're going to first just cut off the outer edge. So this part, you're going to remove it. And then on the other side as well. Then you're going to remove this top edge of the skin. So you're just removing the top skin part and you'll discard that. And then on the other side, you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna remove the, the top skin. So here we've removed all the skin from the aloe and what we're left with is the gel. This is what we wanna be using, okay? And you can throw out the skin. This piece itself can be used for the entire body and I would say it's about six inches long or 15 centimeters long and about one inch thick. If you have a, using a larger aloe vera leaf, like an, from an older plant or from a bigger plant, sometimes there's a yellow coating on the gel. If there's a yellow coating on it for some reason, just rinse it off. The reason why I tell you to rinse it off is because since you're applying it on your skin, you don't want it to maybe stain your clothing or stain your sheets or, or anything. So if, make sure that the gel that you're using is completely clear and that there's no, there's no yellow in it. And it's usually just sort of like the outer bit of gel that's yellow. Okay, so just rinse that off. And we'll use this to rub into our skin. So I just showed you how to fill out the aloe and remove the gel. Now I'm going to explain how to do it, how to use the aloe vera as a full body mask. When you take the gel into your hands, you're going to notice that, that your, your hands automatically get covered with the gel just by holding it. So first what you're going to do 
is after you've taken a shower and you've dried yourself off, you're going to take the aloe gel into your hand and you're just going to take whatever is coating your hand and you're going to rub it in to your skin, just like that. And so you'll be doing this process of, of taking some of the gel, right? It's, I don't know if you can see it, it's, on, it's sort of like in my hand, and you're going to just rub it into your skin. And so you're going to do this from head to toe. Now, when you feel like you're not getting so much gel out of this piece, then what you can do is start squeezing it, and more gel will start being released from the fibers. Okay, and then you continue rubbing it into your skin. So pretty much, I suggest doing this at night, okay, and leaving it on overnight. So one thing I mentioned earlier with when you fill it and remove the, the gel from the leaves of the aloe plant is to make sure that there's no yellow, no yellow colored gel in there. And the best thing to do is just rinse it off if you do see that there's some yellow. The main thing is, is that since you're gonna be wearing it overnight on your skin, you don't wanna stain your sheets or your clothing. If you're just using the regular gel and you see that there's no yellow in it, it's not gonna stain your clothing or your sheets or anything. And you can always do a little test if you're nervous about that. Okay, so what you wanna do is you wanna take a shower at night and you want to fully wash your skin and then dry yourself off and then you're gonna apply the gel from head to toe. You can put it on your face, your neck, your, your full body. If you have any kind of acne on your back and your chest, this can help it as well. If you have dry areas, really make sure that those areas get fully covered with the aloe vera. And if you can, put it head to toe because you will notice like the next day your skin will be super soft. So pretty much you apply the gel from head to toe and you're gonna let it air dry. I would say for a good five minutes, it, it absorbs into the skin pretty quickly, especially if you apply it right after having a shower or a bath. Just make sure that your skin is, is not damp, that it's, it's been dried off before you apply the, the aloe vera gel. And you're gonna let it air dry for a good five to 10 minutes and then you can put your clothing on. One thing I just wanna mention is that the aloe vera gel is bitter in taste. So if anyone's giving you a kiss or something and you got that on your skin, <laughs> they're gonna taste that and you're not gonna taste very good. So if you know you're getting kisses, I would suggest waiting till afterwards to put that on your skin. The best way to use this is to leave it on overnight. If that's not possible, I would suggest then just leaving it on for an hour minimum, okay? And then you can rinse it off. If you leave it on overnight, the next morning, you can rinse it off. Um, I recommend, now this is the thing that you have to do, is you have to put it on every single night or every other night for one week. After that, you can just do a maintenance of doing it once a week. Okay, so the first week, it's pretty much you want it to actively kind of get rid of the dead skin cells and soften up your skin. And it takes a few applications to do so. And I find if you do it continuously for maybe three days out of the week, four days out of the week, then afterwards you just have to go into maintenance mode of just doing it once a week and you'll always have super smooth, like baby soft skin. <laughs> so, and I'm sure if you do this over weeks and months, it can actually start really rejuvenating your skin and, and perhaps making it more and more youthful and a little bit more taut and, and more elastic, everything. Aloe vera is phenomenal as a treatment for the skin. So do try this out. And one thing I want to mention as well, for those that are interested in doing the next 10 day juice fast, the next program starts next week, next Wednesday, April 2nd. It is springtime, so I'm sure many people want to do a spring cleanse, and this is a great program. It's 10 day juice fast. <laughs> so if you're interested and want to learn more about it, go to my website at radiantcentral.com, click on products, and you'll see 10 day juice fasting program. Pretty much it's an online program so you can do it from anywhere around the world there's an online forum so everyone gets to connect and support each other and get to know each other and chat about their 10 day juice fast online on the online forum and I've made videos specifically for the fasting program and each video is like 20 to 40 minutes long they're daily videos for the 10 days and it walks you through everything you need to know about juice fasting and and the whole detox and the whole experience <laughs> and I'm on the forum every day answering questions or offering additional support this is great for anyone that wants to do a juice fast that wants to do it in a group 
that wants support, that wants to have fun with it, and doesn't want to do it alone. This is great for someone that's a beginner that's never done a juice fast before, and for those that have done juice fast before but like sort of the group spirit and the group effort. Um, also on the program, I do give an outline for the transition diet onto the juice fast and also transitioning off. So I do recommend if you're thinking about doing it, do sign up a few days before the fast begins so you can do the transition diet. If not, you can always just jump in. All right, so for more information and to sign up, go to my website at radiantcentral.com, click on products and you'll see 10 day juice fasting program. It starts next Wednesday, April 2nd. Have a phenomenal day everyone and I'll see you again soon. Bye.